Hey there, I am Sarah Ansbury, and this week I want to talk about something you see a lot when the pro levels play, and it is a two-handed backhand. You know, you've got a two-handed backhand, you have a one-handed backhand option. Now, uh, when I first started playing pickleball, you basically didn't see any two-handed backhands, and so that's about, you know, six years ago. And all of a sudden, a couple of people, especially from tennis, started swinging like they would with a tennis ball. And, and I remember the comments, you know, uh, two-handed backhand isn't real pickleball and all sorts of crazy stuff. The reality is the more juniors we have playing, the more racket sports we have playing, it's a natural entity for people to two-handed backhand. There's nothing wrong with it. It's often something that creates uh, something consistently. That difference is, is recognizing how to hold your paddles. I have a lot of tennis players that try to hold it like a tennis racket where it's a little bit different. Now, mind you, I personally have a one-handed backhand. Um, that reasoning is uh, a little bit different. I, um, I, as a junior tennis player, had a two-handed backhand. I had a back surgery, I had a fusion on my back when I was, uh, my lower back when I was 21 years old. So even in tennis, I couldn't hit a two-hander anymore. The rotation is a lot greater with a two-handed backhand because you're rotating on the opposite side of your body and you're accelerating with your non-dominant side. So that, you know, for me, I had to end up hitting a one-handed backhand. It takes more torque and more twist. Do I completely encourage someone if they feel comfortable with a two-handed backhand? Absolutely. You have to go with what's comfortable for you. Uh, what I don't like hearing, I very often say this, uh, I hear this with players, they want to hit a two-handed backhand, they're like, well, I'm trying to hit a one-hander, and I said, okay, well, why, why are you? And it's often because someone said, no, you can't hit a two-hander. You can do whatever you want. So let me just tell you that right now. It is always about what is most comfortable for you. So one of the tricks to recognizing what's important about a two-handed backhand is you'll see a lot what often is creates that trajectory. So if I'm going to hit a tennis ball, it's, it's a different motion. It's a longer paddle uh, with a bigger backswing. Well, here we've got this shorter paddle. So what creates a more compact swing is actually where your non-dominant hand is. So what you're actually looking at is getting your, your so for me as a left hand, uh, with my left hand, because that's my non-dominant hand, I'm going to take that uh, index finger of my left hand, I'm going to put it right here, and I've got my thumb right around here. And what that does is it creates a much quicker, shorter punch, because one of the things to really recognize, a two-handed backhand is driving the ball with your non-dominant hand. That is not a natural occurrence for a lot of players. Now, one thing you do see, let's say me and a lot of other players do, is often we've got our two hands on our paddle, and let's say we end up kind of blocking the ball. You know, you'll see it kind of like a bunt, you know, versus a drive. And that drive difference is you're driving there. So when I see a lot of players, they want to hit a two-hander, they're kind of pushing it instead of actually driving with one hand. So one of the simpler things to do to work on it and get that rhythm going is Take your non-dominant hand and pull your dominant off the paddle and practice hitting four hands with your backhand grip where your non-dominant hand is going to be. That increases the extension of the non-dominant hand. It is a entirely different position and torque. So be aware of this. Uh, you often see a lot of two-handed players still dink with one hand and attack with two hands. Uh, you could still do both. You definitely have options. And the difference is really what makes a tackle. So if you're kind of down here blocking the ball, that's going to be a pretty difficult ball to attack. Uh, and so often you're going to see this turn and coming around the ball instead of lifting under the ball. So it is one thing, and you'll, you're seeing a common trend right now with pros is they're often kind of just blocking a backhand, two in a backhand dink sometimes uh, instead of separating their hands. Uh, so it is a little bit personal choice, but we be aware one of the most important things about that is where that non-dominant hand goes. A lot of players want like a longer handle, but it doesn't create the acceleration and the control at the non-volley line that you really need. It may be fine at the baseline, but that non-dominant kind of on that paddle is going to create more of that push, whether it's up here or down here. So now you're kind of pulling the paddle back with your left hand and accelerating it forward. So think about the grip, but be aware just because you don't have a two-handed backhand doesn't mean you have to create a two-handed backhand because that's the trend. What are you most comfortable with? Do you want the one hand or do you want the two hand? But whatever you're comfortable with, that's always what you got to go with in your gut. Thank you